drag in a box. Stretch it across the full width. And change the fill to be black. Take out the border. We don't need a border for this. Okay, cool. And then we have these menu links. I also did these menu links earlier before. So what I'm going to be doing is just copying and pasting. You can copy it directly from the website and paste it onto your canvas. Okay, so what I did do, which was different, is I was copying each individual text label. So what you'll notice is instead of the whole block of text, it's separate text labels. So that allows for interactions to be put on a single entity as opposed to a grouped entity, if that makes sense. Let's just get the other pieces for this footer. Paste. Okay, cool. There we go. So this is the stuff I had copied before. All right, cool. I'm just going to plonk it here. Okay. Now, just to show you some of the styling uh, effects that ActionRP has, I'm going to style these guys. Firstly, I want to just align them. Uh, let's make that align them horizontally and top. And then we're going to increase the line space. So what we can do is let's put in 30 and see what happens there. Yeah, that's a good kind of line spacing. Cool. And we'll just place it there. Let's just move our footer down. Okay, cool. And we'll fix the outer container later on. And what you'll notice is these guys are slightly darker than the rest. So what we're going to do is just to let's change these guys to be a gray, something a bit more darker. Okay, cool. That's a better one. I do the same for this one. Select, choose from my favorites, boom. And same for kids. And lastly for featured. Awesome. We're doing great so far. And now let's style the footer links. You'll notice these are already white. The headings are white, but everything else is gray. So I want all this, all these links to be gray. So I'll select them, change the color to the same gray I used for the quick links. And do the same for these guys. I'm going to select just these text without the without the category and then apply the gray. Yes, let me just zoom out so I can see this. As I just want to expand the height of this so I got a bit of breathing room. Then I want to lock this background so I don't select it. I want to bring these links further down over here. Make sure these links over there are equally spaced. And I'll bring the social links to the side over here. Just take a look at the reference. Yeah, there's a bit of space there. Okay, cool. I'm going to bring them down a slight bit more, somewhere about there. And then also evenly space them out. If you want to know the size of these social, uh, I've used, I used an ellipse where you can just drag and drop it in. And they just resized it and made it gray. The size is 34 width and 34 height. So it's just in a square shape. Okay, cool. And let's bring this down just over there you can see the alignment 
that's where it's sitting. So let's just move it a bit further down here. Okay, cool. And let's select this last group. So this last group and drag. Cool. And let's just put it somewhere around here. Okay, cool. I'm just going to bold these two so they just stand out a bit more. And I'm going to bold these links. Give us the impression of this type of font. Okay, cool. And select the first one. And then let's just align it top. Okay, cool. And then there are one, two, three, four links on the side. So we're going to start with the column which has less, um, less links. So select this one and I am going to distribute it. Let's see how it looks vertically. Okay. That spacing looks fine. I'm happy with that. Let's just drag it. Let's just drag it slightly up. Okay, the distance is about 24 between that. News and then order. Top. There we go. Boom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the next four. Well, this fourth one. And I'm just going to align it with sustainability. And select the rest. And align vertically. Hundreds. And then this last one, I can just position it. It's all good. I'm not too worried about the spacing. It's fine. And then next, I also want to make the alignment uh, for them to be left aligned. So just press left, align left. Cool, that looks all right. Align left for this guy. Cool, that's fine. These guys look fine. Okay, so far so good. There is a line here, a very faint one. So we're gonna create that by dragging in a horizontal line. So from the guide, and then press shift. You mouse over this particular square at the end of the line and you'll notice a drag icon comes up. Press shift and drag it out to the other part, to the other side of the guide. And then release and there we have a line it's a very faint one let's see what color this is let's just make it 79779 79. yeah that's good enough cool and then the last part here is the location so i'm going to bring in i'm just going to copy this text by just Let's just make some room firstly and alt shift and start typing South Africa. Okay, cool. The font is white. You also notice these the font here is different uh, font size. So we're gonna change the font size just now. And let's make it 10. 10 is always a good number for footer links. There we go. That looks like a good size. And let's copy these. And we'll make them size 11. Okay, cool. And these guys, size 11 as well. Cool. And you'll notice that it's a bit narrow here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unlock this background and then drag it a little bit further down. And I'm happy with that. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Now we need a couple of icons for social links. So maybe we should say map pin. Yes, there you go. Cool. Map marker and change the color to white. Oops. Uh, select fill. 
change color to white and let's resize this to about 20. Uh, let's make it 15. Okay, cool. That looks like a good size. Get a bit of space for it. And there we go. Cool. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's make it maybe 10. Being very pedantic here. Okay, cool. And I'm going to group these two because they open up a full screen pop up. And the group name is going to be select location. Next up, we're going to add the mouse over interaction when your mouse, uh, the mouse over interactions. So you'll notice the color change. When you mouse over, it goes to white. Otherwise, it's gray. The same for these links at the bottom. And the same for our social links as well. But firstly, let's add the social links. So we're going to need something from Facebook. I'm going to take this first one here. Need Facebook, we're gonna need Twitter. Okay, drag that in. We're gonna need YouTube. Okay, just remove that. Let's lock the background. Let's just make it slightly, let's take it down a slight bit. And then let's lock this uh, outer container. And then let's create our footer to let's say 10. Okay, that's a good size. It's way too small. So we'll make this 20. Okay, cool. I think there's a Twitter than the Facebook. We'll align these later. And YouTube, we're gonna change it up to about 20. Okay, and Instagram, let's just change it up to about a 20 as well. And there we go, cool. And then I'm gonna select the, the background circles, and I'm gonna add some styling effects for the mouse over. You'll notice what happens here, it changes to white. So on mouse over, we're gonna change our fill color to white. Awesome, done. And then for our bottom links and these guys, yeah, I'm gonna need these guys too. They will also have the same kind of styling effect. So right click, style effects. I'm gonna change the font color to white and say let me just select click OK. Okay, let's take a preview of this and see if it works as intended. Here's our page on the top banners, carousel, the two block categories, some more banners, three blocks, the quick links, and then our footer and if you mouse over there it is. Awesome. This is fantastic. We have the layout of the page done, bit of the styling done. And then now we're going to start adding functionality to it. But to do so, we're going to have to create master.